Hey guys, Paul DC here, new video today and the idea for this video comes from some of the comments I received in my original Silva Method video which um, try to delve into something that may seem basic but it is not, which is how do I visualize? And first we can start tackling the question by how do you visualize generically and even or more so how you visualize using the Silva method. As a small disclaimer, as I said in my original video, the Silva method was born with some books and then Jose Silva uh, made like this teaching methodology where he prepared some master teachers that gave the course face to face across the US and across the world in different countries. And since in that era the internet was not a thing we are talking about i believe like the 70s or 80s uh, i'm not sure but it was like pretty back in the day some masters started to take their own licenses and introduce different changes to the method so you may have talked with one person from argentina like myself that did the method and they may have been taught some different nuances and things or techniques that someone in, I don't know, Laredo, Texas may have never heard of. But everything revolves around the one same concept. Tapping into the alpha state, which is relaxing your mind to let your brain enter a certain pattern or frequency of, um, of brain waves, if you will. And once you are there in that state, you use creative visualization exercises to visualize, try to manifest, uh, find information and all sorts of different things like I always mention in my other videos. So when we face the amazing question of how do we visualize, I'm going to sort of walk you through the basics of the Silva method in the way it was explained to me. So there may be things that if you already did the, the Silva method, some things perhaps won't uh, resonate with you or you may say hey I wasn't taught this exact way but what I can say is that it worked for me the way my master taught me and what I'm also going to explain is what else have I added up through the years to the Silva technique to make it work better at least for myself and this is another thing many people talk about visualizing and about manifesting it is not something you should go crazy about you just have to try to work some common sense into it although common sense is the least common of the senses there are like sort of silver linings and things that you just have to try for yourself and find out what works best for you okay the basic steps tapping into the alpha state the more you practice, the more you will be able to recognize when you are in the alpha state. If not, it is a state of plain relaxation in the middle of being awakened and being asleep. It is kind of like on the verge of being asleep, but you are still to work your conscious mind. You are able to think, you are able to reason some things, and you are able to command your mind to think about very specific things. It's not like you are completely lost in your dream but at the same time it is not like when you just doze off it is a middle state that you have to work and gain the certain depth to recognize when you are just there it's going to be tough at the beginning maybe you go straight into full-blown sleeping you don't have to blame yourself or or, or feel pressure you just have to be able to tap into it and give yourself some time and some sessions to go into this state. You just start by getting into the alpha level by relaxing your body from your head to your toes. You can place your focus on several body parts and command them to relax, feel them relaxed. And once you have your full body relaxed, then you go to your mind to try to relax your mind, basically turning or shutting down or turning off the thinking mind that mind that is racing through the entire day commenting and labeling everything you do you just have to relax 
not to repress it because it's going to make it worse. Just see those thoughts pass by, acknowledge them, but let them pass by and try to get your mind as empty as possible. Once there, you may be super close or even in the alpha state. Then the Silva course teaches you to create like some sort of imaginary room where you can enter that room. It is kind of like an office with all gadgets and, and things and devices and even human assistants, which I have a dedicated video about that. And then once you're in your office, you're, let's say, ready to visualize. The important thing not to miss the alpha state once you get there is to do some previous working before the session and you should already know what you are going to visualize because when you reach the state you start wondering mm, what should I visualize? Should I visualize uh, something related to my health or related to my, uh, my financial things or related to my work things? Or no, what about if I devote this visualization to help, I don't know, uh, my grandfather that is uh, going through some flu. You can completely mess up your alpha state and just start engaging your mind back and you are on a different frequency and you have to get started all together or the exercise will be entirely lost. You should be very laser focused on what you are going to visualize beforehand. Try to investigate and see what you want and even try to construct the desired outcome scenario beforehand. So when you are there on the alpha state in your mental room, you just know what picture you are going to work with. Down to the finest details. Let's say I always use the example of a car. If you want a car, you, you have to know even, I don't know, what uh, the color, the shape of the wheels, the exact model, where, uh, how is it parked, how does it smell when you drive it, what perfume or pine are you going to have from the rear view mi uh, mirror, everything down to the finest details. That's where visualization mastery uh, can be found in the details. Okay, then you do like the three step or I like to do like the two step technique. First, I create kind of like a frame if you will, like a cinema screen with a blue, with a blue frame where I put the initial situation, the unresolved current situation of my problem. Let's say me riding the bus because I don't have a car. That is the situation. Then you clean the slate. It goes empty. The screen goes empty, right? And then the blue frame turns into bright white light or even golden. And then the resolved situation appears, which is myself riding my dream car, feeling the smell of the car, feeling the vibration of the car in my hands as I hold the steering wheel, everything down to the finest details. And that's actually you visualizing the desired state already fulfilled. It's not like I am going to pick my car from the first time from the dealership or whatever. I'm already driving my car. In fact, I am already driving my car for several months. And then you feel the accomplishment and you sort of deliver that scene to the universe. You just let it go, but not let it go and go back to the state of awareness that you don't have a car. You just let it go and you walk back into, awaken, into the, an awakening state with the awareness in your heart and in your mind that the state fulfilled is the reality fulfilled, that you're already driving that car. In fact, that ride that you just visualized, you have to sort of convince from an awareness standpoint that it may have been the ride you just uh, had like 30 minutes ago. And that's where I feel the silver method falls short and I complement it with uh, Neville Goddard's teachings because the most important aspect it is not only the finest details the finest details help you to get that level of convincement and of awareness of actually feeling the state fulfilled as the reality as a true one reality that already happened if you only stayed 
on, on the visual aspects of the image of the state, uh, of the desired state fulfilled, you are not making the necessary connection for the manifesting to take place, right? You need to feel as if, you need to feel that state already fulfilled in the past. It already happened, it is here now, you already drove that car. I don't know if I'm clear enough. So the two frame or three frame technique, the three frame technique only adds one middle frame between the unsolved state and the solved state, which is a kind of like the middle state where it may be you picking the car from the dealership. But as a shorter version you have, you're not having the car, you're already having the car. But if you don't transition those images into the feeling state, it is not properly done. That is the most, the most important part. The details are important because they should help you get to that feeling. If you start working on how does it smell? How does it feel? How does it sound? How happy am I when I park the car, I walk out of the car and I see it shining there on the street in front of my house but it's not the details per se what matter. It is the conduit that those details create that made the feeling more accessible for me to become aware of. That was a tricky sentence, but basically the details are a booster for you to acquire that awareness, that feeling of you already having driven the car. Why some manifestings don't work? There are two main reasons. One is you don't give enough time. You can never control the house. And that is critical when you visualize and manifest. The house are taken care of by universal mechanics, by universal laws. You cannot interfere in the house. You only have to care about the end result of the state already fulfilled. The house may be you pay your car with some leasing, uh, with your savings, maybe someone gifts you the car, maybe you win the car in some sort of contest, it is none of your business. So every single drop of energy and consciousness you waste in the house is never going to come back to you. You are stealing firepower from your visualization. You never have to visualize the house because you cannot control them. You only can control your state and your feeling now, which is the state of what you materially do not have now, but you have it feeling-wise and awareness-wise. That is the only thing you can control. I already drove the car, I already own the car, I already have the car. That's it. But even if you do that, why some things don't manifest? Here's the ugly truth. This is a powerful tool that should not solely be used for material gains and purposes. It is a tool that can shift your life multidimensionally and transcendental, transcendentally, if that's a word. But what happens when people just, they read the secret or they find this method and start doing it and they want to visualize a $1 million check coming in, the check never comes. And since you can control the house, you can control the when. It may come when, at, at an appointed time in the future that we cannot control. But what if you're on the verge, or, or you're on your deathbed and your desire never came through? Your visualization never came through. Well, sadly, many people try to manifest and visualize out from an unconscious state. They are driven by, by their egos they are driven by, by their thinking mind and they never get to tap into the true depth of the awareness level human beings should have to evolve. And when you try to visualize and manifest things ru being ruled by a high degree of unconsciousness, that means that you may be trying to visualize things you think you need but you actually don't need. That's why the universe is wiser than you, than your veiled mind, that your mind within the illusion of separation. And that's why things 
may not come to you because they actually may bring more harm to you than uh, positive things. The only difference is that due to your level of unconsciousness, you are not realizing it. What if you wanted a, a race car, but you are so unconscious that if you had a race car, you will most likely start racing down the streets and you end up killing yourself. I don't want to be negative or pessimistic, but this is an extreme example just to make my point clear. That car is never going to be delivered to you because it's not like it is not an honest visualization or attempt to, to manifest. It is a visualization spun out of sheer unconsciousness. So that's why manifesting and visual, visualizing it's a secondary tool to a spiritual awakening and spiritual deepening and awareness and consciousness growing. That should be the main goal. That should be the cream, if you will. And then the other stuff can be the milk or the skim milk, but, but the, the cream is growing your level of awareness because if you are fully aware and deepened in your spiritual state and with your frequency raised and your consciousness grown, you will actually know what you should be manifesting with a much better degree of sense than the unconscious person. So it's a combo where everything should make full circle. By being more aware, you become aware of the things that you, you should have and where you should go and what you should accomplish. And then by aligning those things, if you will, with the universal will, by deepening your awareness level, or racing, when you actually try to manifest those things, they will come in a blip. So I hope this makes it clear. Let me know your comments down below. That's how I end up my Silva exercise. I do the scenes, but then I try to go about my life with the feeling of the state already fulfilled. And that's it. It has done wonders for me. So put it into practice and see you in the next one.